Hey guys, welcome back to Aerophil, and we are trying to find what we need to make a life potion for Adrian, who made a jump he should not have attempted and hurt himself. So I need a stardust, a crystal, and an herb. I gotta figure out... I gotta figure out uh, how to find these things here. So I think I can get in here if I crawl. This entrance is too little to walk into, but if I crawl, I think I'd be small enough to fit. Yeah, I figured that out already, buddy. Can I... Yeah, there we go. Stop crawling. Here's a key. Huh? What's this? A key? You'll be reminded to save periodically as well as before dangerous events. There is no risk in using these. You will get a chance to turn back. Sure. This key seems a little strange. Are you sure you want to take it? Uh, not yet. Whoa, this did not take me at all where I thought it was going to take me. Damn. What's this? I received 15 coins. Yay. A little bit of a slow start, but I guess it's trying to make sure I know how to. Hello, uh, <laughs> did I really see that? The darkness here must be messing with my head. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it was. Ugh, stupid Adrian. This place can't really be haunted. I don't know if I agree with that. Anyway, they're trying to make sure I have control. Mastery of the controls, I guess, since there's no. <sighs> you found some stardust. All right, some stardust. Well, that was lucky. This stuff doesn't grow on trees. I still need an herb and some crystal. I wonder if there are any in this place. I wonder if there are any in this place. I don't know how to deliver that line, man. So there's no, like, Easy way to tell what. It's not like when you have a controller, and so you can just like hit all the buttons, of which there are like eight, and see what does what. Because it's a keyboard, and there are like a million buttons on this thing. So I guess they're trying to make sure that I understand what's going on. So it wants me to go up there. Oh, I can jump up broken stairs. That's right. All right. Is this a thing? Okay, I found an herb. It's one of the things Adrian needed for a life potion. I still need a crystal. I wonder if there are any around here. I'd rather not swim yet if I don't have to. I wonder if I can find what I need back the other way. So I'm looking for a crystal. Is it... Oh, I can't even... I can't get over there. Seems like I should be able to jump that, but... Alright. Can't do that. Uh, I mean, there are crystals all on the walls, man. Thanks, I get it. I've done this before. Crystal. I wonder if I wanted to heal Adrian before I fought whatever boss I'm going to fight when I pick up that key, but that might be how I get the crystal. So let's, uh, save. This key seems a little strange. Are you sure you want to take it? Sure, what's the worst that could happen? I wonder what it unlocks. You obtained a key. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Ew, they're leaf cutters. They're not normally aggressive. Maybe I'm near a nest. All I, all I can do is fight them off. Lita is a scout and an archer with high single target damage. She can scout enemies using the scout battle command, analyzing an enemy's stats. She gets a free attack when using this ability. Okay. And battle combatants will slowly restore magic every time they perform an action, including actions that consume magic. Out of combat, health will restore over time. Enemies are powerful, but regeneration offsets that. Because your mag recharges, use skills liberally in battle. Don't just attack. 
Finally, using the defend command allows you to regenerate mag and HP more quickly, as well as an increasing defense. As well as increasing defense. Adrian has a particularly powerful defend ability. But Adrian isn't here. So battle... Uh, skill, that's not what I want. Scout, there we go. Lita searches the enemy for weaknesses. I don't know what any of these mean. Agility and mind? What the fuck? Okay. Ow, that dumb lizard threw a rock at me. Some abilities reduce status effects. There are some unique effects, but most are elemental. Fire magic burns, decreasing health over time. Water magic freezes, lowering defense. Earth magic has a chance to stun targets. Air magic and silence, making abilities unusable. So every element has its own... Interesting. Medical herbs and certain abilities will remove these status effects. They use the wrong effects there, and that really bothers me. So I got stunned there. Am I gonna lose here? Am I about to die, really? Okay, one dead. I'm half dead already, Jesus. Let's see. Okay. I'll be fine. And oh look, it has all the same attributes as the other lizard. That's amazing. Oh god, there's something in my eye. For a second I thought there wasn't gonna be any- <laughs> The music just stopped for a second, I thought there was gonna be no victory music. There was gonna be silence. 3,000 experience, Jesus, that's a really big number. I found 2C! Yay! Crystal recovered. And level to level 2, okay. Black, I hate those things. Well, I found a crystal at least. That's all the ingredients I need for the life potion. I should go back to Adrian. Level up! Lita has leveled up. Each time someone achieves a new level, they gain a skill point to increase stats like attack or defense. You can reset your skills for a price at any inn or special safe area. Talani, the traveling merchant, will provide this service as well, albeit at an increased price. Why? I guess I don't know what that is, so whatever. Your base stats are displayed rather than your stats as they are augmented by equipment. Oh, okay. Press up or down to increase or decrease a stat, then press enter to confirm your selection. Agility increases the rate of the action bar is filled, as well as slightly increasing dodge rate. Okay. Attack increases damage of attacks and weapon-based skills. Defense increases resistance to physical attacks and skills, as well as increases health slightly. Intelligence increases the effectiveness of all abilities and provides magic defense. And magic increases the size of the resource pool used for abilities. Alright, I'm gonna get some attack. Oh shit, that doubled it. Damn. Are you sure you want to commit these changes? Sure thing, buddy. Okay. Uh, where did I come from? It was this way. Hey, are you dead? I found the things you wanted. Good. Take a pinch of each and combine them together. How do you take a pinch of a crystal? That's how you make a life potion. Press escape to open your menu. Select items, then select the utility crafting option. Alright. This is the crafting menu. Let's go over a few basics to get started. Oh lord. So many tutorials in this game. Items highlighted in gray are locked. Scroll over items to see instructions on how to unlock them. Items that are red are unlocked but cannot be crafted because you lack the necessary resources to do so. Items that are green can be crafted at present. Okay. 
The effects of an item are displayed here in the giant blank box. Special or unique effects are displayed here. Here, resources needed to craft an item are displayed as well as the resources that you currently possess. Alright, so I can't make any of this. I could make this. Sure. Here, I made the potion. Great, thanks. Here, let me have it. I really am not psyched about crafting being in this game. It just seems like it is going to make it more complicated than I would like it to be, but we'll see. That's better. I can feel it working already. That would have been an awful walk home with a busted ankle, huh? Mm-hmm. I should have brought some with us. That's one of the problems with being broke, huh? Fortunately, that'll stop being a problem if we find the ring. Oh man, we're looking for a ring. Didn't know that before. I don't think we did. I don't know. Did I know that before? Was I just not paying attention? Looks like we'll have to swim. Think that heavy armors of yours will be okay, tough guy? I guess we're gonna find out. Armor's gonna fucking kill him, man. Approach these sparkles in the water and press enter spacebar to activate them to swim. Okay. Or Z. Hey, fish. Fish. Can I go this way? Nope. Can I go this other way? I should have already tried. I want to attack that fish or eat it or something. Nope. Alright, gotta go the one way I'm supposed to go. That's my favorite way to go. Damn, looks like this door is locked. See the old padlock on there? Yeah, I see it. Hmm. Oh, hey, I found a key when I was looking for the ingredients for that potion. Oh, that's right. I found a key 30 seconds ago. I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. Does it fit the lock? Let's see. It worked. Of course it did. Well, that's a lucky break. I wasn't looking forward to trying to bash this thing open. Oh lord. Wow, this really is an underground castle. No one's been down here for a thousand years. Seems like a good place to hide a magic ring to me. Oh, it's a magic ring now. Oh lord. Did I uh, neglect to mention it was a magic ring? I am certain something very bad is going to happen to us down here. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well... That's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.